is absolutely crazy. I uh, got up at like 12.30 to put some more guy lines on the, the tent that kind of secure some of the poles because they were just flexing so much I'm afraid that they might snap. So. Yeah, and the wind is, it's got to be at least 40, between 40 and 50 mile an hour gusts. It's crazy, can't sleep. I have never been in uh, winds like this before. So, hopefully it slowly dies down so I can get some sleep. I don't know how the other people are doing it. <sighs> I'm gonna sign out and put my head down and hopefully maybe fall asleep. But yeah, crazy, crazy winds. Uh, see you in the morning. Good morning. Or just maybe morning. The last night was rough. You can hear it's still blowing around. It's not as windy, but man, last night did not get a good night's sleep. Just constantly up from the blowing wind. And I know uh, a couple other people were the same way. So I think there's going to be some tired folks on <laughs> the trail is today. So and I've been trying to think of how am I going to get this tent down and all this blowing wind without breaking one of the poles. Uh, I haven't quite figured that out, but uh, we shall see. So I'm going to finish packing up this and then getting it all loaded in the car. And maybe have some breakfast afterwards, but yeah, just man, wind just sucks. Okay, talk to you in a bit. <clears throat> the wind is still kind of holding steady at probably about 20 25 miles an hour, with gusts probably to 35 to 40 miles an hour, and that's the way it was all last night. And then trying to take it down this morning, that was fun too. I just really <laughs> try to roll it up as best as possible and just throw it in the back and not actually put it in this bag and deal with that later. So hopefully it is not windy like this when we get to our next camp. This will be miserable if it is trying to set up in this or cook or do any of that. So we shall see. We've come across our first uh, obstacle for the morning, but I kind of think this is one that we're not going to get past. So I think uh, yeah, we'll have to uh, turn around and find a uh, bypass around, around this to get to the other side of the track.
Okay, so uh, we got to a point where we can't really go any further. And so we're gonna have to backtrack through some of these trails and find a different route around this man-made obstacle. Okay, so uh, on our way back to backtrack, we actually found a sidetrack. It uh, looks like it's gonna take us around that uh, closure of the trail. So hopefully it won't uh, detour us too much. And then we get back on our original track.
Okay, day four of our Mojave National Preserve trip. Uh, it's been a great day out on the trail. I don't know how many miles we did today, but uh, we did quite a few. A uh, variety of terrain, some uh, easy kind of sand tracks uh, where we could just kind of fly across them. Uh, we had some washouts we had to navigate around or up and through. Uh, got to turn on the rear locker to get across one. That was kind of fun to do. Uh, some rougher tracks, kind of feel beat up from those after a good two hours on that track. Uh, we actually lost a couple today. Chris and Justin both kind of peeled off throughout the day. Uh, we finally ended up here among these uh, rock outcroppings for our uh, night of camping. Just finished up burgers and Ben is cooking up some peach cobbler in the Dutch oven, so looking forward to that a little later. If you like the content, please subscribe, share with your friends. Until the next adventure, we'll see you then.